Today's human experience is devoted to looking at tattoos. Most of us are really familiar with tattoos because we see them on an everyday basis. But when we look at tattoos from a sociological perspective, we're not just looking at what the tattoos are, we're looking at the placement of the tattoos. We're looking at the way that people interpret the tattoos as it relates to the person. As a society, do we still hold stereotypes about people who get tattoos? When we look at the social acceptability of tattoos, we're looking at a number of things. First of all, we're looking at what the tattoo is. We're looking at where the tattoo is placed on the body. We're looking at the wearer of the tattoo in terms of age, gender, socioeconomic status. Is there a tattoo subculture? If so, what does it look like? We're going to look at a few things today to help illustrate the ideas that have been presented therein. We're going to look at a few clips from the film Covered, a documentary by Beverly Yen Thompson that looks at how women are treated differently when they get tattooed and how women who are in the tattoo industry as artists are treated differently as well. And finally, we're going to meet a world-renowned tattoo artist, King Afa, who comes from Tonga, who in Los Angeles is continuing to perpetuate Tongan culture through his mastery work in tattooing. Project on the, um, interviewing heavily tattooed women and female tattoo artists. I interviewed about 70 people for this project across the entire uh, United States. I traveled around a lot to interview people. And of course, this is a very visual topic. You know, the women are very um, visually interesting. <laughs> All of my skin is always covered with clothes at work and my students have never seen my tattoos. I feel like the students have this stereotypical understanding of what a college professor is, and um, they think you don't have a life, and anytime you kind of step outside of the box of their stereotypes, um, they're pretty surprised. It's okay for men to have tattoos, but it's not okay for women to have tattoos. Like, I don't know, they think you're, <laughs> you're a whore or something, you know? Like, Ooh, she's got tattoos. You know, what? Like why would they do that? Why would you do that? Especially when you're a mother, you know? It's, it's looked down upon. People see a girl, and a girl is supposedly more delicate and more everything. And when you see a girl tattooed, everybody starts, oh, what does she do? And how can, if especially I have kids, you know? And I take my daughters in school. I'm like, part, I'm like a volunteer mom. And everybody at first is like, like a little apprehensive towards me, I guess. And then once they meet me, they're like, oh, you know, they even tell me, they're like, wow, you're such a nice person. And I'm like, what did you expect me to be? <laughs> like, you expect me to be somebody, some crazy person walking around? I'm like, no, I'm just as normal. I have I love the same things. I'm a complete nerd in every way. <laughs> I just like to get tattooed. I was, you know, I'm sleeved, I'm pretty heavily tattooed. My friends are about as heavily tattooed as I am. And they, uh, they started having kids left and right. So I went to the bookstore on my lunch break one day, literally, expecting to go find a book like this, and it didn't exist. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A lot of the parents, the, mo the majority of the parents that I've seen are tattooed. You know, like they've talked to me about getting tattooed, you know, it's like, it's our gener it's most of the parents now are our generation. So our generation is the generation that is getting more tattooed, I think. I've got a couple of books I want to show you today from my personal collection that is going to help illuminate the concept of tattoos. It gives you photos of the tattoos of the NBA. In the Polynesian tattoo today, we see that there's still a wealth of this tattooing going on in the Polynesian islands. One particular artist is King Afa Cocker, who actually operates out of Los Angeles. And we're going to watch a little video about his work in just a moment. My name is King Alpha. Uh, most people know me as Alpha. My reason of tattooing when I started, when I moved, when when it started, it was 
to make some money. I didn't start tattooing until July 2004. So from 2004 to uh, July 2010 is six years. Plus that one year that I, I used homemade machine. Started making homemade machine, uh, button, motors, everybody, motors, most people know how to make homemade machine. And they use guitar string, I made mine different, I used sewing needle. And I used the metal hanger, I bend it and I soldered it using the mechanic tools. I'll, I'll sit down with the person and I'll talk with the person. They, they have to tell me something based on the, you know where where they stand on, because it's it's a it's a script it's a writing. People used to to write stories. It's it's a story that's written on the skin and passed on to the next generation. I prefer not to do this because I like very detailed and very straight lines and. I, I, I like, you know, perfection. This is perfect. When we discuss tattoos, we're really talking about the ideas around the judgment of other people based upon these preconceived ideas that have been fed to us over the years. And even in 2011, we still hold very, very conservative views about what a person's character is like based upon what we see on the outside. Next time you see someone who's tattooed, remember not to make any judgments about his or her character, their level of intelligence, or perhaps what they even do for a living. You might find out that actually someone that you may know quite well is tattooed, but they just keep it covered.